Hi guys, this is Faticus, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make my Slaughterhouse version 2. Um, it's only going to include two sets, but you will see how to add additional sets with very little difficulty. Um, I will also list a resource count towards the end of the video so that you can be prepared to make exactly what I have here. Okay, so first find an 11 by 9 area. Um, dig two holes. I like to dig them too deep just to start out with. And then dig one right here. Now, we're going to take our first redstone torch, place it right there. Place our half slab here. Place our two sticky pistons facing this way. And I'll use the white wool for this. Um, place three along the back, one in the center, one above that. A button above add our redstone dust along the back come on like so and put a block right above this redstone torch place our two powered rails press the button to see if it's working the rails should be powered and they should not fall off when you push the button um, this is DocM77 and Minecraft PG5's uh, design. Minecraft PG5 decided, uh, figured out that you could float rails over holes, which I think is going to be patched soon. And DocM77 figured out how to make it into a breeding cell. Now that that's been explained, let's move on and make the base for our first set of glass chamber holding cells and place our rails on top as well and the back side right there as well okay take our glass out and we're gonna make this into a glass chamber okay and that way add another layer and now we're going to add our wiring blocks I call them that because that's where the redstone dust is going to be for, for the uh, second set and now we need to uh, make it so that when the animals come out they don't just slide off over here so we add these two blocks to block them and make them fall directly down onto those two powered rails. Next we'll place our block for the wiring and the button three blocks away and put our button there. And now we will move on to the second step. The second step is wiring. So we will take our redstone torches and our redstone dust and we will stack the torches with a block, one in between the other, up until the top, like so. Next, we will wire our first set of powered rails, like that. Add the redstone dust, oops, redstone dust, and that should turn on once you press the button. Next, we will prepare for our second set, adding our lanes for our redstone dust, or powder, whatever you want to call it. Okay, place it like so. Then, right after the redstone dust, I like to do it the hard way, place a block. And, I believe we are ready for step three, it looks like. Yes, we are. We're going to make the second set of glass chambers. Okay, so let's start out by making the base for the set uh, two of glass chambers. We'll do it this way. It's going to look pretty much the same as the first one. Um, you don't actually need a solid block here, so I'll just use that as glass. Um, the more you can see, the better. Add powered rails, glass,
Okay, that's not working. Let's do it right there. We go. One more there. One here. And cover this side as well. And add another layer because we're going to have to. Um, once the animals come through, they're going to hit against that and fall straight down. So. Uh, let's see, the next part, we will do the rails to uh, connect the bottom to the top. Okay, for this step I like to start from the bottom and place my track 3 this way, one powered rail that way, and then start my ascent. I go four blocks this way, then I come back around and head up this direction. And then come up this way. Probably want to go above our redstone, so... There. Okay. And for... The next one, we'll repeat. Hopefully you won't hear me breathing during all of this. Uh, let's see. I don't think that'll work. We'll see in a moment. Okay, now we'll place our powered rails. Yeah, that won't work. How did I have it set up over here? Okay, so we can actually do this. There we go. And on every turn, place a regular rail, like so. And power them. That power is the top, the middle, or the bottom, the middle, and then we'll have one over here to power both the top ones. Yeah. Okay, we'll repeat the wiring over here. Okay, and add a track there. And something to keep them from going over. And that should be everything in a nutshell. Okay, let's test it out with minecarts. Actually, we'll start from the bottom. So just place them on here, send them off. It's important to make sure that they make it because you could accidentally stack them and that's just a pain to get out. Okay, first send them down. Make sure they sent down. Yep, they both ended up from there to there. So now send off this set. Make sure it goes up just fine. Okay, perfect. And that concludes the tutorial. The resource count now. Let me open up my little file. Okay, the resource count is redstone dust, 17. Redstone torch, 7. Powered rail, 30. Normal rail, 14. Building blocks of your choice, 80. Glass blocks, 27. Two buttons. Half slab, 1. Sticky pistons, 2. Minecarts, 4.
And that concludes this tutorial. Uh, please like and subscribe. If this was helpful, let me know. If you could think of any way of improving it, let me know as well. I appreciate all feedback. Thank you very much.